Hi, this is uh, Lady T Ortiz for my YouTube subscribers. Um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about me. Um, my name is Lady T Ortiz. Um, my name is Tari. Uh, I have uh, I had an ex an ex boyfriend uh, passed away now. Uh, he he um, gave me that name, Lady T, and it just stuck with me. Um, I am an author. I've been writing since I was 15 years old. I have a book out called Love Chronicles of Michael the Vampire Season 1. Um, I'm going to be republishing it. Uh, with a new cover soon and I'm gonna have uh, Love Chronicles of Michael the Vampire 2 out by the same time season 1 is republished I'm also doing uh, a gospel um, uh, book by the end of 2017 um, by 2018 I will have my mobster book out all, a lot of people, uh, a lot of writers, they don't use the same name as a character. With me, I'm going to use the same main man, leading man, character. Same name in all my books. That's unique. No, I don't know anyone that has ever done that. I, um, <clears throat> I've been telling stories since the age of 10. I drowned in my brother uh, Terry Leo's pool, and um, I saw a bright light when I was ten years old. And when I I heard a voice that said, "It wasn't. It's not your time to go. You need to go back." And when I woke up, my brother Leo Terry was um, uh, his name is Terry, but we call him Leo because he is a, a Leo. Um, I woke up and he, he was over me and I was throwing up water. I looked at him and I said, I think I saw an angel. And he said, I believe you. From that moment on, <clears throat> I was, I started telling stories. My mother at the time was really sick. So I would go and, uh, stay up with her late at night while she was in a lot of pain and I would make up stories in my head and I would tell her stories to keep her mind off the pain. At 15 years old, my brother uh, Leo gave me a, a binder and I started writing all my stories down. I've been writing ever since. There's hardly any days that go by that I don't write. From the moment I started telling stories, the stories always had Michael in it. A big, big fan of Michael Jackson. Big, big fan. The story had always had Michael as leading care. I've never had another leading man ever in any of my stories. I have a story on, I have a story page on Facebook. And I just, I always have, uh, always had Michael as a leading. I've never thought of anyone else as a leading character. On my story page, I put the people that are on my story page as leading ladies, as Michael's woman. I'm not a typical uh, fan fiction writer. I write with not a not very much sex in my stories. I write, I do have sex in it, but it's very tasteful and it's not very much sex in it though. And it's very tasteful. I also write vampire stories, mobsters, romance, song stories, gospel, 
I have been blessed to be able to write all different kinds of stories. I've even dabbled in horror during Halloween time. I also do Christmas stories and Thanksgiving stories during the, the holidays, 4th of July, birthday stories, stuff like that. God has truly blessed me to be able to write a number of different stories, topics. And I love what I do. There's nothing else in this world that I would rather do than write. That is my passion. That is who I am. I am a writer. God is actually, I, I've said this in my book. Um, I've said this on, on the pages before. God is actually the writer. I am the vessel that he writes through. I honor him with my writing. That's why I don't see it's it's so important to put all that sex and all that stuff into it. I have a lot of action doing my mobster stories. I have a lot of uh, beautiful romance in my romance stories. I have a lot of beautiful, uh, you know, it, I don't have typical vampire stories. Like my Love Chronicle book, which I'm really considering reading in January, but since I'm republishing it uh, and changing stuff in it, I might not do that until after I, I get the, the new republished one out. But <clears throat> what I'm saying is that uh, Love Chronicles of Michael the Vampire, season one, uh, the book is not a normal vampire book. It's about uh, a lawyer who is bitten by a client that ends up uh, deciding that he doesn't want to be a bad vampire, so he starts helping people. And through him helping people, God decides he's going to make Michael his vessel. So Michael becomes God's vessel, and he starts saving, he saving uh, the world from and the world in heaven from Lucifer and his demons because Lucifer wants to take over the world and heaven. He's angry at God. So he wants to take over the world and heaven. So God made Michael his vessel so Michael could uh, save the world and heaven from Lucifer and his demons. He does have a few love interests in there and then he finally does find his, his true mate, his vampire mate. But God has given Michael the gift of being his vessel so Michael doesn't have to taste the blood anymore. We got uh, a vampire in there that called Scripture. We got angels. We got demons. We have um, uh, good vampires, bad vampires. Uh... You know, there's no, there's no werewolves, none of that other stuff in there, you know, no werewolves and stuff like that in there. But this is a typical, this is not a typical vampire book. And God is truly amazing because when I finished that book, I was like, I know I didn't write that. There's no way I could have came up with that. That's God. Mm -hmm. That's God. God's amazing. But anyway, th that's a little bit about myself. As you can tell, I, I love nails. Uh, actually, if you can see that, it says King of Pop and it got notes on it. See that? It says King of Pop. It has notes. And I am truly a MJ fan. I love that man. You yeah. know. But anyway... Thank you, and I hope if you you see this video, you comment below, you can ask me questions, whatever you like, I will answer them, and um, God bless. I hope you guys have a, a great day. Peace. And like Michael says, I love you more. Bye-bye.